And we're back. Yes. With Let's The Last see. of Us. Just let the cutscene play. Welcome to the Fireflies. Sorry about that. They didn't know who you were. And Ellie? She's all right. They brought her back. <sighs> you came all this way. How'd you do it? It was her. <clears throat> she fought like hell to get here. Maybe it was meant to be. <clears throat> I lost most of my crew across in the country. I pretty much lost everything. And then you show up and somehow we find you just in time to save her. Maybe it was meant to be. Biblical. <laughs> take me to her. You don't have to worry about her anymore. We'll take care I of her. I worry. Just let me see her, please. You can't. She's being prepped for surgery. The hell you mean, surgery? The doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, has somehow mutated. It's why she's immune. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. A vaccine. But it grows all over the brain. It does. Surgery will kill her. There is no one else. Listen, you were going to show me where she... Stop. <laughs> does she know about it? Does Ellie know about Whatever it? No, she's been unconscious the whole right time. Now is nothing to what I have been through. I knew her since she was born. I promised your mother I would look after her. Then why are you letting this happen? Because this isn't about me, or even her. There is no other choice here. March him out of here. He tries anything, shoot him. Don't waste this gift, Joel. So yeah, they can make a cure, but it would involve remove pretty much removing Ellie's brain to do it. Hmm. I said get up. It move. <laughs> Give me an excuse. Which way? The fuck you doing? Keep walking. <laughs> I said keep walking. <laughs> Where was the operating room? I ain't got time for this. Where? Where? Top floor, the far end. They already killed you. Why did you tell? Huh. Mercy. So, here we are. Getting ready for the action-packed finale. For the last of us. <laughs> hey, he killed Ethan. And then he killed that guy. So, yeah. This is gonna be... Uh... The big finale. A whole lot of killing going to happen here. Oh my god. So, oh shit. Have we uh, enjoyed the journey so far? 
Yeah, I enjoyed the movie, movie game, game movie. It's like a movie. Yeah, this game is super cinematic. Yeah. Uh, uh. Okay, where are these guys? It has its own story. It's very, very touching. Shit. I loved it. Hey. I didn't do that right. That's fine. No, no, get down. Why couldn't I throw that? I don't know. Come on. Joel. Jesus. Are you trying to get us all killed? All right. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, where's the other guy? Ah. Uh. And can someone see me from... Okay. Ah. Uh. I didn't see him. Damn it. Yeah, a lot of them. An operation room is so far away. Yep. And they like operating her already? Uh, yes, they are going to be operating on her to remove her brain. So you will meet, so Joe will, will meet her halfway doing this. I, <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. Of course. He's very good in keeping secrets. Yeah, well. I'm also good at spoiling things, which is why I'm just not talking. <laughs> Alright, there were three guys. Okay, there's one over there. Uh... Uh -huh. Well, there's another daddy. Dead, dead guy. Daddy. <laughs> oh, daddy. Oh, come on. Get a headshot. Get a headshot. No. Yeah. Ah, shit. Hmm. Alright. Oh. Okay. Why don't I use this? Let me show you what real firepower is, Daddy. Do you see this man? Do you see this man? <laughs> ah! This man, he is dead. Uh, 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 uh. Y'all going in there? I'm gonna find you, asshole. 
So he's gonna kill Go check over there. everybody in this firefly. <laughs> really? Damn right. The whole group? No, no, no. Just whoever stands in his way. Anyone in Joel's way? They're not bad people, right? No, no, no. They they actually believe that they are trying to save the world. They. It's, this is an unfortunate set of uh, circumstances. <laughs> But there's something Joel loves a whole lot more than doing the right thing. And it is Ellie, whatever her last name is. Oh shit, okay. Really? Right there, that's where you're gonna go? Oh shit, okay. Uh, where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? Um. <laughs> yep. You choose the same spot. And this man is dead. I mean, he's sleeping. Oh, shit. Damn it. All right. Uh, tweet, tweet, I'm a bird. Tweet, tweet. I'm a <laughs> bird out. Hi. Oh, that's hard. Okay, you need to do that's hard. What? Uh, I was panicking. Yeah, I noticed. All right. Craft, craft, craft. All right. Cool. Uh, no more dudes. Let me uh, fuck. reload. Uh, reload. Okay. Here we go. Third floor. April 28. Marlene was right. The girl's infection is like nothing I've ever seen. The cause of her immunity is uncertain. As we've seen in all past cases, the antigenic titers of the patient's cordyceps remain high in both the serum and the cerebrospinal fluid. Blood cultures taken from the patient rapidly grow cordyceps and fungal media in the lab. However, white blood cell lines, including percentages and absolute counts, are completely normal. There is no elevation of pro-inflammatory cytokines. And an MRI of the brain shows no evidence of fungal growth in the limbic regions, which would normally accompany the prodrome of aggression in infected patients. We must find a way to replicate this state under laboratory conditions. We're about to hit a milestone in human history equal to... The discovery of penicillin. After years of wandering in circles, we're about to come home. Make a difference. And bring the human race back into control of its own destiny. All of our sacrifices and the hundreds of men and women who've bled for this cause. Or worse. Will not be in vain. Yes. Yep. They're saving. They're trying. To save humanity. Exactly. Uh, drug stuff, bullets, all kinds of other stuff. Uh. Yeah, no, the, the the these people, they're they're not trying to be cruel. But you're gonna kill them all. Exactly. That's Marlene's journal. It's just detailing like. How she wishes she didn't have to do this and all this stuff. And how she, you know, she loves Ellie. Like, you know, like family, but... She wants to save the world. 
Oh shit. Uh, um. Seriously? <laughs> I'm coming, Ellie. Can we? Jesus, Joel. These people know where I am. Uh, let's see, who's brave? Ow, I keep getting hit. Alright. No, don't fan out. Um. Ah, wrong one! Yeah, yeah, see? You're good. I'm concentrating, man. I don't know what the hell's going on outside. Maybe... This guy's running. Yeah, may, may, maybe we want to shut the window. I know it'll be hot in here, but... Oh, sweet health. You gotta be quick. I don't know... Yeah. ...how much air we have here in the room. Uh, well, you know what? It's going to be uh, more air than this guy's going to have. Oh. Ah, shit! Almost killed. Yeah, I'm in a bad position right now. Um, 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 hmm. He's still alive. Oh, he has, um. Yeah, they all have bulletproof vests yeah, on. Yeah, bulletproof what? Vests. Vests. You know what? I haven't used one of these yet. That was cool. Look. I'm saving someone. So, do you remember at the beginning of the game, the first time you take control of Joel, what you're doing? Control of Joel. You, you play as Sarah for a little bit, and then you play as Joel. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hey, Anna. It's been a while since we spoke. I, um... I just gave the okay to proceed with the surgery. Anna was Ellie's mother. I really doubt I had much of a choice. Asking me was more of a formality. I need you to know that I've kept my promise all these years. Despite everything that I was in charge of, I looked after her. I would have done anything for her, and at times I... Here's a chance to save us. All of us. So, her mother is this here? Is we no, her mother, after. Ellie's you mother's dead. After. I don't think this is important, but I'm doing this anyway. And here we go. Do you remember what Joel was doing the first time you take control of him? Carrying her, his daughter. Yes. 
What are you doing here? I won't let you take her. This don't come any closer. I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. I got you. I got you. Come on. Tell me which way. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. I said get back. I'm actually going to turn this up so we can fully appreciate this end. You can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. And you know it. She wanted to save the world of by course. her. Of course. Yeah, Al Ellie would have. By her? Can still do the right thing. Uh, Ellie would absolutely give her life to save the world. She won't feel anything. Ellie wants her life to mean something. And everyone she lost, she wants it all to mean something. But why they didn't let her decide? Why they just put her unconscious and... Because it's it's about Stay saving the world. The drugs are still weird. But they could just... They wouldn't give her a choice. They were going to do it anyway. They could just tell her. It's fair. And fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. I ain't done them a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... They've stopped looking for a cure. Taking us home. I'm sorry. Let me go. Please. You just come after her. I, huh? This is where I, why I wish we had face cam. I wish someone could see your face right now. I have no words to say. It's a very emotional and it makes you think like... Yes, we love Joel because we were on this journey with him. But is he really that good a guy? Is he really a good guy? Yeah. Should be a straight shot through here. All right. I 
actually kind of pretty, ain't it? Yeah. So he didn't right. tell her. No. Now watch your head going through. No. And how he explained that they need to go now. somewhere else? Uh, he told her that there are other immune people and they couldn't find a cure, so they stopped looking. Going back to Tommy's town. Yeah, he, a little bit he, further now. he just, he lied to her. And where are they going now? Like he said. Uh, to Tommy's city. Just leave their lives? Yep. To just live a life. There. I got you. Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So... She says... Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. You don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. Nope. I swear. Yeah, this is a controversial thing. Happens in human lives. And that, babe, was the last of us. Yeah. Hailed as one of the most significant uh, story based games ever. Yeah. Talented made. Like a movie, I said. Oh, yeah. Um. Everyone involved in this game did such a good job exactly. capturing everything. Um, the director for this game, Neil Druckmann, I think this is the first game he directed, too. He worked on other games as producer, producing, programming, things like that. But I think this was his first direct, this was his directorial debut. Um, and he was championed as a hero after this. Uh, he suddenly beha became ha famous. Oh, yeah. The, the dude is still a famous guy. Some people love him and some people hate him. After this, after The Last of Us Part 2, uh, some people think he got too political or he's trying to push a, 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 an agenda with it. There's a lot of LGBT uh, representation in the second mm -hmm. game. Um, and some people think that he's pushing that message too far oh, okay. or he's trying to be shocking because there's a, it's a very shocking game. Oh, people parking there. Uh, other things. I mean, <laughs> there are like two sex scenes, but other things are what shock people about it. 
you know, certain events. Can't wait to see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, you said you want to you want to do that one next. Yeah. Um, I think we should first do Left Behind. Okay. Which is the add-on to this game. It's it's a short add-on. We should be able to get that done in a few yeah. episodes. And you look playing for Ellie? Yes. Okay. It's telling two stories. One, what happened to Joel after he fell off that balcony and got stabbed uh, back in Colorado. And it's intercut with flashbacks to the friend she told Joel about, Riley. Mm -hmm. And tells their story of how Ellie got bit in the first place. What is this? Uh, company mascots. Uh, morale bo boosters and food patrol. Pogo and trumpet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the sweet, sweet yeah. doggies. Yeah, the, 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 the film score, Gustavo, I, I missed his name, but he's awesome. Starring Ashley Johnson and Troy Baker, Hannah Hayes, Jeffrey Pierce... I, it's, I mean, I could go through all these people. Every voiceover uh, artist on this was awesome. And a lot of them did the motion capture for their characters, too. I think they all did motion capture for their mm -hmm. characters. Yeah, characters looks very natural. Oh, it's even more natural in the second one. They, you know, I mean, th this game outdoes everything that mm -hmm. it's that it wanted to do and it cements Neil Druckmann as a director who he has a story to tell whether it's a story you want to hear it's a story nonetheless you know this this is a game that's about being stuck in time it's about loss mm -hmm. and you know coming back to being human yeah. And, the, you know, what? how far are you willing to go for the people you love? Yeah. What are you willing to do? Um, yeah. I wish it'd be more, you know, like, quest game than just... Not just, but there are a lot of killing. Yeah, it's, it's a very linear game. Yeah, bloody killing thing, like... I would like to be more like quest. Right. Uh, the second one's I th a little bloodier, but oh my god, bloodier! Yeah, but uh, it fits into the story. I mean, I don't want to give you, I don't want to tell you what happens in the second one. Uh huh. But the overall like message that the second one is peddling is like. It's it's about revenge. And okay. and that the the, uh, the cycle of violence. If you do violence to me and I do violence back to you, you're you're just going to be violent to me again. Mm -hmm. And just the circle of never-ending revenge and violence yeah. and grief. Grief is a big thing in the second game. Hmm. You know, how to process losing someone that you love. Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's a very gonna be dramatic. Yep. Uh dramatic. it has I'd say a more colorful cast of characters, you know. You got Joel, you got Ellie, Jesse, Dina, uh uh I think uh Manuel, Abby, um uh, Shit, I'm forgetting people's names. Well, there are a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. We will see it. A lot of people of different walks of life. You know, you get to see a little bit of what happened to the fireflies after Joel killed all of them. <laughs> you know, you get to see another part of the world see another group that's, you know, fighting for independence and all that. Mm-hmm. And you go to Washington. Not D.C., but Seattle, Washington. Okay. And then you go to California at the end. And it looks wonderful. Okay. Can't wait to see California. 
Um, but yeah. So, The Last of Us. And everyone uh, who has watched our videos, thank you so much for sticking with us uh, on this trip. Um, this is the game that we started with. Yeah. You know, and two months in, we're finally done. We're going to keep it going. Uh, we're probably going to play Left Behind next. I think I already said that. And then The Last yeah, yeah. of Us Part 2. And we'll see, you know, maybe we'll have some intercut stuff in there. Uh, more action-y stuff. Um, less emotional. <laughs> yeah. So maybe some Resident Evil or, uh... Maybe even some Devil May Cry. That would be a fun one. Devil May Cry is just like a straight-up action game. Okay. But it fit, it fits kind of with the... It's a little bloody. But, yeah. That's that. So, I guess next time on DTH Games. Yes. See you soon, guys. Yeah. See you soon. Oh, yeah. I should have pointed this out. Um, when you boot up the game, and this is for anyone who m might have missed this. I don't think anyone has. The game's been out for eight years now, and everyone talks about it. When you play the game the first time, there's no knife yeah, on I the windowsill. Noticed. And when you beat the game, the knife is on the windowsill. It's like L Ellie's done with it. Hmm. So, yeah, that's a little detail. So okay. there you go. That's The Last of Us. Have a good night, everybody. Good night.